My name is Robert Minervini. I live in San Francisco, California, and I'm in residence from April 1st to June 16th. I think I've always had an interest in art. Uh, at a young age, I drew a lot, and it was one of the things I enjoyed doing. And as, as a young person does, when you draw something and get attention from your friends or whatever, you find yourself encouraged and do more of it. I've been, I've been paying attention to the Bemis for, for several years. I think um, a few friends and former professors that I've had have been here. So um, when I found myself accepted, it felt that I was in the same club. I do tend to have a good amount of studio time back in San Francisco. It's been a really interesting process being here where I can have a live work situation and just be around my work all the time. I found myself generally excited to be with the work and working on it all day and night and not have much else to think or to mess around with. So there's, a, there's sort of a, um, an inverse problem where you're, you have all this time and space and you feel like since you're so lucky to have it, you need to be using it at every single moment and it's just not realistic. And I think part of being a resident here was, was is sort of learning that, um, learning that balance. And um, the first month or so I think it was, is getting into a, was getting into a groove like that. When I arrived, I had a few paintings that I was working on uh, to finish for a, a one body of work. I th thought that would help kind of lead into something new for a new body of work, which I knew I needed to also start once I got here. I'm kind of working in a broader framework of uh, nature and culture, and in a sense that I'm interested in sort of reinterpreting landscape and um, reinterpreting what, like, what a contemporary idea of nature is. The last body of work was <laughs> Uh, still life paintings of floral bouquets of Cal endangered California flora and fauna. The next body of work will be more um, exterior paintings, landscapes, influenced by the trip from California to Omaha. The paintings will be a little bit more um, sensitive to space in the sense that it's a large group of paintings that are all interconnected. So they're almost going to be like a panoramic kind of landscape that will engulf the gallery. I've always been interested in narrative and um, my former work tended to be very figurative and narrative, and I'd like to think of the paintings as still being figurative in subject matter, but without the direct reference of a human figure, you know, depicted in the paintings. That isn't to say that they're always not in there. They're usually, if they are painted in the paintings, they're very small and they're kind of tucked in some sort of section, so they're a little bit of a surprise to the viewer. So I like that idea that the paintings are about people without um, depicting people. Because since most people see artwork on the web before they see it in person, there's a sense that the work I make is very slick and polished, and it is to some degree. Um, I, I can't deny that, but I, at the same time, that is a very important aspect of the work that is about a certain level of um, crudeness and a, and a certain um, decision-making that's very uh, tactile and materialistic in a sense that, that you can really see the process that the thing has been built by you know one thing being on top of another or overlaid by another or popping in front of another thing and um, there's a lot of those decisions are very evident and open when you see them in person and so it's sort of an important aspect to me about the work is that they're very much um, uh, revealing in their in their process of making. I'm always trying to be somewhat sensitive to um, uh, improvisation as I'm painting so that there's some sense of structure, but that there's also um, room for um, more intuitive kind of decision making. At this point, I'm about halfway through the residency. Uh, the exhibition is up. Um, I'm starting a new body of work, and I'm sort of plotting my second half in terms of how much I can get done for a new body of work before I have to return to reality. <laughs>